What's up, family? On yesterday, I hopped on Instagram to post a photograph of a woman who I call Granny. Quite naturally, people thought that this was my mother or father's mother. I want to explain something to you, fam. And I get it. It's a fair conclusion. But blood don't make you family. Loyalty do. Granny is granny to me through marriage. I call her granny because everybody else under her calls her granny. And she's granny to me. She feels like a grandmother. You know, she has that type of energy, that loving, caring, nurturing energy, just full of life, right? 88 years old. And so I wanted to jump on on here today and talk to you guys about the reason why I am so enamored with Granny and even other elderly people that I keep in constant contact with. They are the ones who pave the way for me. They are the ones, no matter what you may think of them, if not for their sacrifices, your sacrifices are even harder. Your life is harder than whatever it is right now. They paved the way. They took a much greater hit than I took and that many of you have taken. So I got a lot of respect for the elders, you know. And so I visit them often. I call them. I check on them. And I think that it would be a good idea for you guys to do the same thing if you're not already doing it. You know, besides the fact that you're calling someone who might be experiencing so social isolation, the smile that you can just put on a person's face for just calling, the, the way you can warm a, an elderly person's heart by just checking on, up on them is cool. But the information that you get from just having a conversation with elderly people, it's invaluable. That's how I got to be sharper than most people my age. I would seek counsel from my elders. Check on your elderly fam. Check on the people in the family, man, that don't get a whole lot of visits, don't get a lot of calls. And when you check on them, make sure that they're okay physically. You know, check on them for real. When you go to visit, look them over. Give them a good look over, you know. Uh, when you hug them, you know, you know, check to see how frail they are, you know, without sounding freaky. You know what I'm talking about, fam. You know, like sometimes you, you know, you, you hug your family and, and you know, all you feel is bones. You know, there's something wrong right there. Perhaps they're malnourished, right? A lot of older people ain't going to tell you exactly how they feel. Another thing, check that refrigerator. Make sure there's not spa food in the refrigerator, you know, make sure that uh, there isn't something in the refrigerator that probably shouldn't be there, like a remote control. Check their mail. Make sure that they don't have a tax lien or something, somebody trying to come in and take their house, a foreclosure. Because oftentimes when you get old, you forget things like that and you overlook things like that. And this is how they take a lot of elderly people's homes, by overlooking their uh, their tax responsibilities, you know, and not just that, you know, sometimes they elderly people take out loans, equity loans, and you know they may have uh, some something, uh, uh, an addition to the house or whatever, some type of repairs done, and, and they went unpaid, and next thing you know, somebody has put a lien against the house, and next thing you know, the house isn't theirs anymore because somebody came in and got a judgment. 
So you want to check that mail and you want to check that mail for scams also because a lot of elderly people get scammed through the mail. Another thing, check those cards. You know, you have uh, sometimes just checking out an elderly person's car will say a whole lot without anything ever being said. Like check it for like, see if there's any damage to the car, to the exterior of the car. See if there's any like dings on the car. Like sometimes it's ex elderly people have excessive dings on their car. What, what is that? That's a telltale sign that perhaps they've uh, reached an age where they can no longer drive safely. So you want to check on your elderly, you know, you want to check on your people. Don't just check and just say, hello, hey, how you doing? You know, like listen for clues, you know, when they're talking, listen to them. You know, when you go visit, be observant, watch them, you know, see if there's any physical changes, any drastic physical changes, you know, to their body and their mannerisms, you know, look around the house, see, you know, like be observant. Another thing, too, sometimes people be preying on elderly people and they'll come by and they'll gain access. They'll get their trust, gain trust, and then they'll get access to their uh, bank accounts and stuff like that. And they start trusting this person you ain't never even seen in your life before. They just met this person yesterday and they've already given them all the code, the bank codes and the cards and everything. So you want to check on your people for real to make sure Nobody's out there taking advantage of them. Same thing with these uh, senior living facilities. You want to check. You want to ask questions. You want people to know that this person right here, they got backup. Yeah, we know that y'all you probably be doing other people around, around, wrong around here, but this one right here, y'all going to show some respect and dignity too. That's all, fam. I just wanted to put that on y'all mind because granny is my heart and Anytime something go down with her, I'm going to be there. I went to a birthday party. I'm not a, I'm not an early morning type dude. But, you know, uh, and I had to drive, do some real driving to get over there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. But, Granny, hey, man, I'm like Superman. If I get a call and Granny uh, need me, man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be right there. But anyway, fam, you know, drop a comment. I love to hear your thoughts. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Damn.